Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a PT and assessor for Study Active. And I'm Colin, PT and assessor for Study Active. And today we're going to have a, a little look at plank, and then we're going to have a little look at side plank. So looking at the core muscles and the, the core structure and some good strengthening exercises. Um, as always, I'm going to do a little demonstration okay. uh, for a few seconds. Walk around, have a look at me doing the demo. We'll do. Um, and then we'll talk through some teaching points and then you'll have a go as well. Um, this is going to work the muscles of the core, so your TVA, your transverse abdominis. We're also going to work your rectus abdominis. Uh, and when we do the side plank, the focus is going to be more on your obliques, your inner and your outer obliques. Okay. Uh, other muscles are engaged as well, but that's the focus of, of this one. So let's have a look. I think I'll face this this way. So we're going to find our way down to the floor. Uh, and this, this floor is fine. We're not going to use a mat. Uh, it's lovely grass. I was out the lawnmower this morning, so it's, it's cut quite nicely. We're going to come down. We're going to do a uh, forearm plank. So I like to put my hands into prayer, or you can interlace your fingers, which is quite nice, whichever works for you. So on the elbows, we're going to squeeze those um, elbows back towards the body, tuck the tailbone under, and hold. You're shaking a bit there. I'm shaking a bit, yeah. So rather than me coming down, I'm drawing my elbows in towards the body. I'm tucking my tailbone under, so the pelvis is tucking under. And so I'm trying to squeeze it towards the ribs. So I'm tensing the whole of the body as I squeeze in. This is not a passive exercise. So we're squeezing in and we're holding. And then when we release, we take the knees to the floor, take the tummy to the floor, and maybe just stretch out and just have a few seconds before we bring ourselves back to the knees and back through again. So with plank, Colin, you've probably seen lots of people who yeah. like to spend a minute, two minutes, more. Breaking what, records. Breaking records. <laughs> and I think if you're breaking records and you're earning money, I think that's fantastic. <laughs> that's really good. Uh, good luck to them. But I think for your typical person who wants to improve their strength and their fitness, um, it's less than ideal. Yeah. Because we... Form goes. Yeah. Your form goes. Yeah. But even if you can maintain good form, let's say, for a minute, what happens is all those vertebrae are under pressure. Um, and because they're not moving, they dry out. That synovial fluid stops being produced from around the joint. The joints dry out and they're under pressure. So it's not terribly good. So once you can do 30 seconds, we should be adding movement. So maybe we'll have a little look at movement in a, in a second. Okay. But let's look at the basic plank for about 15, 20 seconds first and see how we do. If we stop spaces so that, so that you can be on camera. Right, onto my elbows, yes. On, onto your elbows. Super, that's it. And then you're going to draw your elbows in towards the body. So you're going to pull your elbows towards your feet. Tuck your tailbone under. That's it. And then you're going to draw in. So just about 30% of your power drawing in. So we're not trying really hard. And you can see that shaking. So that shaking is just a neurological thing. It's your nerves, your nerve pathways building new roads. So they're building new routes to help you. Remember to breathe, so little sips of air. There's no big breaths with plank. Really good, Colin. Really strong, really good position. A really strong position. And when you're ready, we'll come back down. Lower the knees, that's it. And maybe just allow yourself just to have that little rest in between. Fantastic. How did you find that? Uh, it was a struggle. I hadn't done it for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a relief when you told me to stop. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, great for core stability, isn't it? Yeah, really good yeah. For, for core stability. Um, sometimes with clients, I'll get them to put their fingers on their floating ribs and just squeeze those ribs in. And when you do that, you can probably feel that TVA, your transverse yeah. abdominis engage right from the pelvic floor through. So doing it this way is increasing the load by tucking that, that pelvis under, by squeezing those ribs in and by crunching ourselves in, we, yeah. we, we create more. Um, so I think, I think you could probably do that for quite a long time. Right. So once we go beyond that 30 seconds, if you do 30 seconds comfortably, which you clearly can, it's nice to add movement. Okay. So let's have a, a little look at, at, at a different movement for it. So we're going to go back in the same position. <clears throat> we're going to draw those elbows in towards the, 
the, uh, towards the feet. We're going to tuck that pelvis under, and then we're going to bring that knee through towards the elbow and back. So we can do repetitions on one side, and then we can change and do the opposite side. And we're still keeping that crunch going. We're still pulling those elbows towards the body. We're keeping that tailbone tucked underneath. And we can swap sides as we go. The other thing we can do is we can keep that crunch and we can take a foot off the floor, but we maintain that crunch and then change sides. So there's a few things that we can do to add a little bit of variation. And that movement just keeps that lubrication of those joints of your vertebrae, but makes it a safer and slightly more challenging okay. exercise. Do you want to have a go? Yeah. So four on each side. And just find whatever range of movement is comfortable for you, Colin. So that nice knee, so draw in first. That's a good position. Tailbone tucks under, elbows towards feet. That's it. And then take it as far as is comfortable for you. Just four. Fantastic. Really good. That's it. Really good. Last one. Then we'll change sides. And I can see that you're squeezing those elbows through to the body. The tailbone's still engaged and tucked under. Your core engagement's really good. Nice, slow, controlled movement. And your pelvis is nice and level. That's it. That's it. So just a little lift of the foot, not too high. Your pelvis stays nice and level, actually, Cole. Really, really good. Good core engagement. Change legs. Super. That's good. And you're maintaining that drawing of the elbows. Your engagement's good. Little sips of air. So we, we keep that <sighs> flowing. That's good. Either find child's pose or stretch out, whichever one feels nice for you. I think sometimes it's nice just to stretch out long, but child's pose works very well as well, just to take that pressure off and have a nice little rest. <sighs> Fantastic. How did you find that? My hips are a bit stiff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I found out. Yeah, but it's a, it's a nice way to get that joint moving through a really yeah, good yeah, range of good, motion, yeah, isn't yeah. it? And, and oh, yeah, it's that, good. That, that moving. Just noticed how uh, stiff my hips are, so yeah, just uh, shows the importance of stretching, I suppose. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, good. But really strong, Colin, really good form, uh, really good engagement. And the key bit, you looked after those vertebrae, you strengthened yeah. the core, and then you found some extra mobility with the hips. It's a win-win. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>